Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and this is my final video from Top Marks 2017, final day today in Monaco. So Benzine, Ben and I are gonna head down into town in the Vanquish, and um, while I'm thinking about it, by the way, guys, check out Ben's Instagram, link down below, go give him a follow, wanna get him some more followers, so I need you guys to help me with that. But today, we're gonna take the Vanquish into Monte Carlo, check out what's going on. You will notice that it is the only one of the cars here at the moment, because the M2 has already gone down, and if you watched my earlier video, you will have seen that the LT is not in the happiest of states and is already on the truck ready to go back to England shortly to be joined by the Vanquish later on today to be uh, taken back while I fly on to other things and other places that I've got on my agenda so we are going to jump into the Vanquish um, this will be heading back later on um, but for the moment let's just uh, have a bit of gratuitous noise just because it's fun um, and the V12 in here is amazing um, I've been enjoying driving this car a lot around here it sounds so nice and um, really is one of the absolute best so I don't really know what the plan is for today we are basically gonna go down to town have some lunch see what's going on exactly see some cars maybe wander into top marks again we'll just Monaco things. just Monaco things I don't know let's see what happens now it may not be the sunniest day today but the view out here as you come down to Monte Carlo is always amazing and um, you probably lose it now behind the fence uh, behind the wall sorry we will cruise on down and around and head down towards the Grimaldi Forum where Top Marks takes place um, and just see if we spot anything on the way down because I feel like it's a, it's a kind of day where cars might be out. We'll see. The camo crew, as usual, they seem to be up here a lot at the moment. Yeah, 458 and the RS6. And then uh, the Sinar 1, the Radical, an Aventador SV. Um, it's busy here. And there's some cars here, but I can't see what. Hurricane, R8 Spider. That was me. Hurricane that joined us for the convoy and the R8 Spider as well. Crawl through and around and go down towards the Fairmont Heaven. This is the uh, main paddock. Uh, the NSX there is very nice, Pride Design 570S. Where we're going to go is just into this other paddock here on the right. And this is a 750 horsepower Shelby F150. That's the most unusual thing here, actually, probably the rarest car ever in Monaco. LaFerraris, 918s, those are all pretty normal. This trip to Monaco has really been overloaded with Aventador SVs, Black Roadster here. We've come back into the show, into Top Marks Monaco, for a few reasons. Firstly, to pop by Centurion, where we've been talking about ways of adding some more purple to my Centurion key, given that it's synced to the McLaren after all. Secondly, just to come by now, the Donkavort D8 GTO RS. Now, I just took one of these out for a drive, and it was amazing. So if you haven't already seen that video, do check it out. If it's not already out on the internet, it's coming very, very soon, so watch this space. Now, lastly, but by no means least, there is one new car that was not in here yet by the time I did my first walk around. And that is the car that is behind this crowd of people. We're gonna take a look at it in a second. The FV Fangevento Charlotte Roadster. Now it was outside, we caught a quick glimpse of it, but trust me, there is a lot to this car that you wanna see. It is crazy. So let me find somebody who can show us around it in a little bit more detail and take a look at the car that is behind this crowd. Now to take us around the car, I am joined by Jacopo. Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, well tell us about the car, what are we looking at? Basically, this is what we want to do, is, um, is, is a new benchmark for electric supercar coming from Italy. This is an Italian supercar, and uh, the most distinctive feature will be that the fact that the car will be entirely out of hand-beaten aluminum, and it will be made in terrain, entirely made in terrain, and uh, it will be full electric. So normally full electric is not normally associated with high emotions, but we don't think so. Frangevento, the Charlotte Roadster, which is uh, here at its first world premiere, yeah. will be a full electric supercar with uh, elements that made the uh, Italian supercars and GTs famous worldwide. Yeah, and I can see immediately we've got some sort of pretty dramatic styling yes. design. You know, you've got the sort of glass all the way through to the front, the central roof panel that opens, all kind of new ideas, very bold, distinctive. Exactly, the inspiration from this car has been uh, 
from the concept car for Bertone from the 1970s. So if you look from, from the, the, the front, we have distinct Bertone elements. So it's also a tribute to one of the greatest stylists in Italy. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest ever in automotive history. So the interior of the car is entirely made, of course, of full green leather by Folizzo, which is one of the <coughs> most renowned ateliers in Italy. Can I just say for yes. a second, yeah. this makes you go, wow. Yes. Yeah. This is <laughs> unlike a normal car. Everything, I mean, there is an aquarium. Yes, it's an aquarium. It's a real aquarium. Of course, we, we got the fish inside and the fish tank. And I know it is a provocative aspect. We've been criticized. There are people love it or hate it. And yeah. Let's see what it is. And, it's um, fun, though. It is fun because the idea of the interior, which actually been developed and uh, designed in two and a half months, so it's very okay. a short time for automotive making, is uh, a tribute to the world of sailing and a tribute to the Mediterranean Sea. Mm -hmm. So you can see by the different shades of, of the leather, especially on the dashboard. The dashboard, I don't know if you can see exactly. Yes. Uh, it actually is made to reflect the, um, the similar type of reflections you have when uh, you're looking at a swimming pool. Yes, okay, like so, reflections yeah. on water. Yes, you can see that very exactly. clearly. And also to uh, you know to think about the Mediterranean, we have, of course, this is a wave pattern leather mm -hmm. with uh, a light blue suede. And yeah. the seats are made from, uh, by Sparco, which is a partner mm -hmm. of this yep. project, uh, as much as the tire from Pirelli. And uh, the whole idea is to convey the very best of Italian craftsmanship in a new package. If you can see there, we have the aisle, which is a, an homage to Sicily. Uh, it's actually more like a triangle. And in the middle, you have the Moretto Veneziano, which is a typical piece of jewelry from Venice. And um, made of gold with diamonds. And all the, the buttons and the, the switches there are made out of um, the silver. So this is, of course, a, a prototype. This is a, um, you know, not ready for production yet, but the car will go into production eventually in about two years' time. Okay. And it will be very much different from uh, what you're seeing here. But, I mean, just... What, what's what's this material here? It's a stingray skin. Sting, stingray skin. And also okay. doors here. Yeah. And it's um, actually the great contrast you have when you touch it. And it's I think one of the best uh, solution we made because it creates this lovely contrast and it's very light uh, and um, and interesting to see. But it. as as a car, you've completely sort of started from the ground up. I mean, yes. the, the use of materials. I mean, there's a, there's a wooden floor reminiscent of a yacht. Or yes, a, exactly. Or... It's actually also for the same idea of being a tribute to the world of sailing. The floor will be completely out of wood. So, you know, it's also a homage to the Riva um, okay. the, uh, the motorboat. And since Carlo Riva unfortunately left, uh, left us uh, a few months ago, so this is actually also a tribute to, to, to him. A very small, of course, okay. very subtle tribute to him. I have to ask, how, yes. how do you get the fish into the aquarium? <laughs> it's quite interesting. We have here. <laughs> Okay. They, you know, we have also in Tiffany contrast uh, colors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and the Charlotte. Charlotte is, of course, an homage to the uh, Charlotte um, Casiraghi okay. of Monaco. And, uh, you know, you may be wondering why the car has the exhaust, but the exhaust pipes here uh, I actually will replicate the sound of the wind that uh, the company has recorded uh, when the, the last prototype, the coupe, was actually put on Dolomite Mountains. So we okay. had the speakers. So when the car would drive around, we have the sound coming out. So mm -hmm. once again, emotional factor in a new package, full electric. Okay. The, a fairly radical design. It's new. It's, it's like everything has started from the beginning and created. It's a project from the ground up, also thanks to Giorgio Pirolo, the designer we see here, and uh, Paolo Mancini, the two partners and the founder of the company, who wow. decided to build uh, this uh, wonderful piece of automotive art together. Wow. And uh, this is actually rear carbon fiber. You may think this is in our prototype. It is a wrapping now. This is actually rear carbon fiber. Okay. And uh, we have with, with Tiffany um, contrast, uh, contrast oh, like, uh, diffuser. So it's all about the details. It's very simple yeah. in the end, but all about the details. Well, amazing. Thank you very much for showing me around it. I appreciate You're welcome. it. Thank you. I've stepped into the car to take a better look at this, but literally there is an aquarium right there behind me, behind the seats. Now that's not going to make it into the finished car, but I have never ever in my life seen a car with a live aquarium. 
in between the seats. This is ridiculously random. But let's just take a little look around the rest as well while I'm sat in here. And one thing that's quite cool is the paddle here is actually used for boost. It's not a sort of up or down gear. It gives you a little bit more power um, as well. And then you've got this kind of glass windscreen going all the way down to the floor at the front. Obviously this is very much prototype, so a lot of it will change, but as it's designed, this is just it's crazy and literally aquarium. I'm sorry to keep coming back to it, but there are fish in the car. What a talking point is that, guys? <laughs> back on the outside, a couple more things. This is so sort of marine inspired. You have swan-like doors, you have gills like a shark inside the glass at the front, and everything obviously we've seen on the inside. This is a little bit crazy, it's very futuristic. Interesting to see how it develops going forward. So back outside on the street, some nice cars, a 599, a Ventador SV over there, just disappeared out of sight, but plenty to see. And there goes a Ferrari F12 TDF, lovely in blue. So one of the best bits about leaving Monaco is the tunnel uphill out of town, where and waiting the McLaren unloaded because this is going to go in first and then the McLaren coming in afterwards but yes it's home time for these two For now cars so the truck taking them back home and we are off in the m2 i've been in a lot of different cars today it feels or explored a lot of different cars and some of which had fish tanks in them aquariums <laughs> has been this one doesn't no this one doesn't um, but we're gonna head back now towards monaco um, navigation is set if that helps standing right at the roundabout yeah and basically bring today and this part of the Monaco adventure to a close, or this part of the Wershmi adventure. There is more to come. There is more to come from Italy. There is more to come from Germany. So stay tuned for that. We've got lots of cool cars to share with you, um, cool uh, drives and other things that are going on. And yes, as you can probably tell, I'm quite tired. It's been another long day. Um, every day on this trip has been a long day. Pretty much, yeah. But it's been a ridiculously awesome trip. So thank you guys very much for uh, following it so far and uh, look forward to sharing the rest with you. That is it for now though. I will catch up with you again very soon. Another shout out, go follow Benzine, link down below. Yes, he needs more followers. And uh, as always, I appreciate your support. That's it, I'll catch you soon. Cheers.